We'll put our add to it now. I'm going to leave that in there. One good handful of chocolate chips per loaf. We've got two loaves. We've got two loaves. for a and one good hand of pecan pieces. I'm going to use that. I have another bag. Another bag here for the last two loaves. Okay. All right, got a full bowl going here. Maybe we'll just get her started a little bit. So we don't get splattered. You certainly don't have to have a mixer to make pugs. I didn't for a whole lot of years. But it is nice. We got to make sure we were getting everything off the bottom here, so we better check that in a minute. Check that. Yeah, I don't see any flour down there at the bottom yet, coming up as we turn it up, so we're all right. That's the water bass you hear gurgling, maybe some gurgling. That really helps keeping uh, the honey, the molasses, the syrup in a water bath. Your pour's nice. I'll clean up here a little bit. So we can do pans. Five and six. Bands five and six already pre-oiled. You can use non-stick pans too. I have some. Consistency. That's pretty good consistency. Ooh, it smells good. You can smell that peanut butter. I do like peanut butter and chocolate. Ooh, yeah, those two things go together pretty good. Kind of got a little more heavy handed and got a little bit more in our loaf pans here. More like we want to be, or I like to be. You don't have to be anything. You only have to be what you end up with. Okay. So we've got, we have, uh, I'll work on my English, huh? So we have six pugs made. 
hand. We'll shut the camera off for a minute and move these over with our other ones and get ready to make our last two. Okay, all eight pans are in. I have to put one sideways. Get them all in here. All eight pans are in. My oven temperature got to, was about 290. I got to kick it up a little bit. But uh, that's where they load in this particular oven. So I set the, the oven itself at 310. And I have a, a new thermometer. I said it was about 295. So I'll kick it up like 5 degrees. This says 315. And we'll check the thermometer. I'd rather work by thermometer than, um, and we'll uh, we'll let her bake about two and a half hours, and then shut the oven off and see what we get. Okay, these have been sitting in the oven for about three hours. I uh, covered them with foil. See if we can keep them from turning too brown. And they're looking pretty good. And we're going to depan them here. Well, real nice. Got a little split in the top here. Got just a little bit of rising, a little bit of doming, like I talk about. And uh, the bottom one's got just a little browner. So, we'll try and depan them here. Okay, so we got here. Looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get her depan. Alright. Alright, we're burning on the bottom. Not bad. These are sure nice and compact, and uh, once they're frozen, they are like bricks. Don't have to worry about them. 